Hello everyone and welcome to Story by Data. Today I'd like to talk about how you can use ggplot2 to create a simple scatterplot and histogram in RStudio. This lecture will assume that you have some basic understanding of R and that you have R installed as well as RStudio. So the first thing we'll need to do, if you don't already have the ggplot2 package installed, is you will type install.packages and then in parentheses, in quotation marks, you would put ggplot2. I've already installed it here, but we can go ahead and run, run it anyways and have it just tell me that here you can see a package ggplot2 is in use and will not be installed. The next thing to do is we're going to load the package using the library function. So we say library and in parentheses, in quotation marks, we say ggplot2. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And we have the library. Now we need to do is we need to download the data. So we can use mpg, which already it comes with the ggplot2 package. Basically, this data set contains a subset of the fuel economy data that the EPA makes available on the website at fueleconomy.gov. It contains only models which had a new release every year between the years 1999 and 2008. This was used as a proxy for the popularity of the car. So first thing we do here is we use the str function, which is the structure of the object. So let's go ahead and run str of mpg, which is the data. And here you get the structure of the data, you get all of the column names, and you can see what, what type of characters they are. So what I want to talk about today is the function called qplot. It basically, qplot stands for quick plot. It produces quick, simple plots that use all of ggplot2 default measures. And so basically, if you give the qplot function an x variable and a y variable, it will create a scatter plot. If you just give it an x variable, it will create a histogram or it will create a bar chart, basically depending on the type of variable that you're working with. So some of the variables that I'll use in this example is HWY, which is the highway miles per gallon, DISPL, which is the engine displacement in liters. We'll have class, which class of cars, like is it a midsize, is it a two-seater, a compact, etc. And DRV, which is the front wheel drive, back wheel drive, or four wheel drive. So the first plot we'll create, we'll just say qplot, we'll use the displacement as the x variable, the highway miles per gallon as the y, and the data is the mpg. Let's go ahead and run that. You can see here that this instantaneously created our scatter plot. Another thing we can do is using the same data points, we can use class on color. So it's, if we run this line of code, you will see we have the same data, but now we have different colors for the various classes of cars. And it automatically creates a color legend on the right side. So it's fairly nicely um, color coded and formatted for us. Additionally, you can use color on the DRV, so you could see it changes. Now we have four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, or rear-view drive. And additionally, if we just use the dis displacement and we don't input a Y variable, it creates a chart like this, so it's no longer a scatter plot. Let's see what else we can do. Let's create the same chart, but let's put um, the DRV on color, we'll run that code, and here you go. Now we have different colors for four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, and rear-view drive, and similarly we can run that for class. And here we go, it's the same, the same graph except now it's broken up by class, and you can see which ones are two-seaters, which ones are SUVs, which ones are pickups, and how that distribution is shown. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you found this video useful and definitely feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.